Welcome to the match. Welcome back. We are in week five right now of the Valorant season. Uh, we got the Bayport Pirates facing off against the Waukesha South esports team. The Black Shirts. Waukesha South Black Shirts. All right. So Bayport Pirates versus Blackshaw South. Uh, Blackshaw South. Waukesha South Black Shirts. And that fast twice. And uh, let's see. Bayport coming into the match. Uh, three wins, one loss. Waukesha South coming in at 3-0. They've got a match that hasn't been reported quite yet. So uh, let's see how this one goes. I believe the... Pirates and Blackshirts did scrimmage earlier on in the season, so we'll see how things go today. Bayport starting on the attack side of Fracture. Lineups looking like Rays, Breach, Cypher, Neon, Brimstone for the attackers for Bayport. And uh, characters. I, I don't know what to call them, actually. Uh, Bubbles, this is somebody. This is Omen. This is somebody. This is the robot person. This is Ray's. I don't remember what this name is. Who's in the chat to tell me? Two minutes later. You see here, no visitors allowed. Voltage getting his smoke set up. Uh, we are going to follow... Going to follow. Who we got here? We got uh, roll boat. Why am I not able to find? A There's a frame. A frame. Let's see what a frame does this round. It's a thing. B rush. Raise. Loops herself up in the air. A little vantage point. See on inside. There's a call after that. There's omen. Spotted by the a frame. Like going down. Oh, planted. Yeah, Bayport defends this. Omen smoke. Comes in. Oh, it's going out. Uh, weird. How is that not a headshot? Roll boat. Uh, this is his smoke? I'm not sure. That was his or. They shot by Rollboat. See one down there. Fires shots coming in. One in the corner. Nice win by Bayport. 2 0. Uh, well, sorry. 2 0. 1 0. Uh, two remaining Bayport players. Alright, Bayport. Uh, on up B once again. Going for the B push. So fast is the fall. Let's see what happens. And I know it's coming, so they'll have a chance to rotate here. They are, you know, it's not too far to the bomb site. Uh, Raise grenades coming in, denying some space. It looks like there's there's definitely two there this time. All the rotates been made. A port. Uh, rotating quickly through uh, through A, A frame able to secure elimination there. And transition to A. Uh, again, I expect the disco party is being placed by the black shirts there. A pre fire attempt, Iron Warrior able to pick up the kill from somewhere. Uh, up there, you see he was able to shoot across the bomb site. Nice pinch action. And the, you know, the initial. This should be a win for Bayport, but uh, this that round I should say. Um, but you know, getting a 5-0 is is nice. Um, as in they save quite a bit of their cash for their, their eventual deaths that will happen. Interesting interaction on this map here. You can see you can zip across the middle of this map and attack 
from either side. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, as much as this game borrows from Counter-Strike Global Offensive, the Counter-Strike franchise in general, that is a cool mechanic. I've seen it in a few Counter-Strike maps, but never with zip lines. In it. So that's, that's pretty neat that you can get it. You can set up a split just like that. Kind of spanning his little finders, and you're trying to find enemies, but and they could have been found, but uh, last long enough to be found. Spike getting down here. Reloading. Six. Looking for uh, a lot of a game like this is crossover placement. And what that boils down to is predicting where the enemy is going to be. Oh, it's a canteen. Again, Brayport down two players, but they're able to speak out the, the victory here. A series of trades by Brayport. Complaining about the Phantom skin. Oh boy. Spike in plan here. Um, woof, Ziggs. Ziggs finds the headshots. A little bit of a lineup there. Uh, you still have to move the crosshair up. Bayport. Set up another B push, it looks like. Nice pick by Ziggs. Ziggs. On fire. Check out that scoreboard. Ziggs. Yeah. Skills. I guess uh, it's A frames. Add him a little bit. The outlines of the enemies there, so you know the enemy position, they don't have positions and what. Big flash. He's able to find cover there. Off being saved. Here's shots by spray control. Ziggs. Yeah, super cool interaction on this map. I love this uh, ability to move across the entire map through something like this. And, uh, doing that mid match was really be fun. But yeah, interesting mechanic. You know, you don't have a lot of options on this map about where to go. Really, you've got you know, basically two ways into each bomb site, three ways if you count middle. Uh, but that flexibility to move across the map like that. Robot actually do damage to Ziggs there? I'm not sure. Did we maybe see a guy there? I'm not sure. I thought I saw some legs. Uh, it's, it's a 5v1. It's an omen, but... Has been planted. Uh, I'm eventually able to find that kill. Ten for a frame right now. Couple ultimates ready. Pirates, a couple black shirts. I 
A frame here. A frame. A frame. Interesting. Interesting character, Miss. That Gecko, is that the new character? Three situation. This has been the most match so far. Rays. They for loses a round. Not sure what happened there. It looks like a lot of utility. The Rays had some nice plays there. Drop some smokes. We got some strats here. Open up a finds the rays. Rays able to. I don't think that's the item. Maybe that was the. I don't know. The hop or the. The scout equivalent. I don't know. Why can't we just all play the counter strike? Just kidding. Just kidding. Raze is definitely still up there. Not just Raze. Oh, wow. Uh, Jump Hub, able to get the drop on Iron Warrior. Iron Warrior has crossed in the right spot. That's, I think he maybe was caught looking somewhere else. Uh, killed by Voltage. You know, 3v2 situation. Get the spike down. It's going to help the economy. Economy is his roll boat really needed to play time here. A, a pick would be helpful in this 2v3 situation. You can just basically get traded on and lose the round, but uh, 1v3 is going to be much more difficult. Nice. Now we are in a position 1v2. Roll boat just needs to play time. And he clutched the round. No shots. Got a peek on the bomb there. It looks like going to be in. Here's on finds his first kill. And old out kind of it's really kind of trapped between a rock and our pistol. Remember to talk to each other out there. Communicate right here. So full ultimate for Bayport. I'm not sure about the whole ultimate conservancy here. I was I had a lesson during an over learned in Overwatch was you don't necessarily want to save your ult ever, but you also don't want to just spend it willy nilly. Um, I don't know if any of the ultimates would have helped them win the last round or not, but they'll certainly have options here. Up next round. Clouds going up. The Ray's nades appear to be on point. Put those in good spots. Not all of them are connecting, some of them are. Decoy. Okay, I was wondering why did we just ignore this guy? Lol. Okay. Seven to two. Go, go, go. Right there. Let's go 
like a slow push being called out for Bayport here. Love the, uh, the splitting on A. I love coming from two angles. It's great. Much harder to defend. Folks come out in the middle. Folks only really got two or three places to look and clear inside. Once they get One enemy remaining. I don't know what my opinion is at this point. Plant is going to be in a corner here. Safe plant. Wins the round. Iron Warrior picks up the last kill. Well, well, well. Eight to two. Bayport in the lead. So again, A frame did use his ult. Love to see it. Love to use an ult. Big Sid too. Let's use those ults. It's kind of amazing to me, you know, it's like two weeks in a row. Both teams have basically allowed the spike plants to happen. And played for retail. I'm not sure if that's Valorant meta. Or if that's just, you know, how this game is or what, but. I'd be a little bit more stingy about giving up the bombs. Get through here on defense in a shot by Rollboat. Crosshair placement and tracking. That's what I was saying. You know, I understand the, one, the, the desire to retake and have a strong retake. You know, five people, especially with all the utility that exists in this game. But I feel like I would be a little bit more stingy about letting these letting teams on a bomb site. With zero resistance whatsoever. You know, a little bit of information that you can collect. And I'm not saying this is a Waukesha South thing. This is a this is an us thing too. And it's multiple teams, like all the teams you face, basically, have been super willing to get concede bomb sites off the off the jump. And then we try to do the the mass for retakes. The team we played last week was excellent at performing and executing the retakes, but super close match. And I wonder if it would have tilted in their favor if they were able to secure even one, you know, fifty percent damage or just have information about the enemy team. Often. Often information is just as valuable as, as, as a so. Enemy spotted. Move safe plant. I guess it's really kind of a compromise. Behind that post right there would be a really safe. Two angles can keep that. Spike. Um, this must be the Killjoy ult we are seeing. Pain. Put him in the detention sphere. Interesting. Checks the cameras. Could be one situation. Bubbles. One more. Oh, peeking with the knife. Yeah. I don't know, Robot. Not gonna get away with that much longer. Alright, they poured up, 10 to 2. First round of the second half. Let's see how they defend. It'll be interesting to see. Will they just concede bomb sites much like you know what we've seen a lot of the season? Play for the retake, or what are they gonna do? How are they gonna react? Are they gonna go for some info? Or are they going to try to get a kill? Alright, so we got 
Three on A. Two on B. Very interesting map. You know, I don't like it. It feels extremely... It feels hard to rotate on this map, to be honest. But I've never played it. I'm just watching. So. Mostly an A push, it appears. Not nearly enough decoys. Me a team coach up. You know, they are totally committed at a someone just needs to be at B playing spike right now. Which is, you know. Spike down A. One enemy remaining. Miss my chat, you know. It was fun when chat was interactive. Now there's like, there's nobody here to entertain me. It makes me so sad. A frame of Rooney. Let's see how the scoreboard looks. A frame seventeen. Iron Warrior fourteen. Let's see some Iron Warrior shotgun gameplay. Uh, Iron Warrior does not sit still, ever. In a whole different part of the map that we really didn't see on the terrorist side. This must be that. Spike down A. One enemy remaining. Oh boy. Thirty seconds left. Iron Warrior was wondering where is the enemy going, and it probably gets shot in the back of the head. Whoopsie. Searching for this last kill. Uh, we only picked up a shotgun. There's time to see the crime. My guess is they jumped across the thing because that's what I would do. Because kills are fun. And they're probably camped in a corner around here somewhere. Waiting for the person to cross. Nope. Okay. So they didn't do what I would do. That would have been probably. Oh, and finds another one. Eventually kills him off. Oh boy. Poor bubbles. Not only do they lose the gun they found, but they also, I don't think they get money. Uh, maybe they have money. I don't know. I know in Counter-Strike, if you die after the time is expired, you do not get money. And then you are poor, and then you are sad. You know, chat, you can always tell me to stop making references to Counter-Strike, and I... We'll still keep giving references to Counter Strike, but at least you told me to stop. Uh, quote from player who shall not be named. I'm just going to camp their spot. Terrible move. I mean, not a, even a match like this. Like, you're going to rotate. A map like this, you're rotating. We don't reload as we keep them. One enemy remaining. Game point. Jump, jump the hub. One enemy team eliminated. Welp, that is a match. Bayport improves to four and one. Lockshot drops to three and one. Looking forward to next week and uh, shout out to all the competitors. Um, shout out to 
Waukesha South, the Black Shirts, for a great match. We appreciate you. Love you guys very much. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. We've got League of Legends being streamed. Um, our league team will be playing um, same time, 4 o'clock. And then I think that's probably going to be it for the week for streaming. Um, but same time next week, uh, Valorant, Tuesday, 4 p.m. Wednesday, 4 p.m. League of Legends. We'll see if we can get some bonus content in here at some point. But uh, have a great night. GG's to everybody. Good luck with the rest of the season, Black Shirts.